Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve. Today, let's go through another lead code problem. 1619, mean of array after removing some elements. Let's take a look at the problem first. Given an integer array, array, return the mean of the remaining integers after removing the smallest 5% and the largest 5% of the elements. Answer within 10 to the magnitude of negative 5 of the actual answer will be considered accepted. Let's take a look. Given this array, one of so many twos and one three, after erasing the minimum and maximum values of this array, all elements are equal to two. So the mean is two. We can just return two. Remember, it's, this is a double integer type. This given array is already sorted, it's, so it's very easy to spot. The first 5% and the last 5% is one and three, so they are stripped off. So the, the mean of the remaining is just this, which is two. So this one is more regular, which is which means this is this one is unsorted. How can we find the first five percent and the last five percent? We need to sort this array first before we can get to know the first five percent and the last five percent. After sorting that out, we'll just count all of the middle ones, add all of them up, and divide them divide them by the total number of the elements in between. The same goes for these examples, right? Um, this one is labeled as easy, so the thought is very clear and easy. We we'll just sort sort this, and add up all of the middle ones, the middle ninety percent, and then divide by the total number of elements in between. Then we we'll just return, right? So now with that sorted out, we we'll just start writing code. So first, we'll we we'll want to sort this array. Given this array, we we'll just want to sort this. Then we'll have a variable called n, which is the length of this array. And then we can start from, not start from zero, but starting from the fifth percent. So how do we get to the fifth percent? That is, we can get, we need to round this from n times 0.05. This is going to be the starting point. We, we need to round this double integer. This round API is going to give us a double. And then we need to round this to be an integer because this is an index. This is the first one that we need to traverse through. Then we go all the way up to what? Then we go all the way up to n minus 0.05 times n. This is, of course, we do not want to go all the way up to the nth because we want to strip off the last, the top 5%. This is where this is the range that we should be going through. Of course, before we go here, we need to have another variable, which is called sum, which is going to help us add up all of these, add up all of these values. And then in the end, what we want to do is we just need to return sum divided by n times 0.1. Where do we get this 0.1? This is 0.1 is because the first half, the first five percent, and the last five percent. Five percent add up is ten percent. Ten percent is point one. Now let me hit run code and see. All right, accept it. Now let me hit submit. All right, also accept it. Not super impressive, but uh, there should be other ways to optimize this. Let me hit submit again. Ah. Uh, Mm, now it's 99%. Is I guess the submissions there aren't enough submissions to really distribute this to give me a very consistent um, view. All right, time complexity is oh, n log n. Depending on the sorting algorithm, by default is n log n, very optimized. And then we just need another variable to go through all of this. So the entire time complexity. This one is O n and this one is O n log n. So the entire time complexity is O n log n. Space complexity is just O one. We don't need any extra space. If there's any extra memory needed by the sorting algorithm, that's the extra. That's it for this entire video. Um, hopefully it helps you understand this. If that is the case, just do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to check out as I have accumulated other lead code tutorials, data structure, and algorithms, um, and also Amazon Web Services. If you want to prepare for any AWS certification exams, feel free to check them out. Hopefully, I'll just see you guys in just a few short seconds in my other videos. Thank you very much for watching.